Hello lovely learners, welcome back to A Life Learn. Just wanted to share with you guys the really nifty and unexpectedly cool experience of having gone to the um, consultation sessions for the pilot project that they're planning for basic income here in Ontario. Um, if you guys aren't familiar with basic income, I will link up here the video that I talked about, the different contrasting approaches to it. Um, there's a lot of different videos on YouTube that'll give a very easy brief explanation of it, but the general idea is a basic amount of money for people who earn a lower than a uh, certain amount or who don't earn at all um, to reduce poverty. And uh, the idea is to bring the current welfare programs, um, Ontario Disability and Ontario Works or Ontario Welfare, together into one all-around program that applies to a lot more people. Um, I came to learn that this was actually the 14th of 14 consultations, so it was the last one, and um, it was really nicely set up. I was quite surprised to see how everything was all laid out, and there was tables and tons of people there. They had food and water and um, a whole thing set up that I just, I really didn't know what to expect, to be honest. Um, but yeah, it was, it was very professional. It wasn't crowded or anything like that, and um, they had a very specific structure. They laid out all kinds of information on the table for everyone, including um, the main questions that they were addressing and also discussing um, just basic information about um, the different current programs that exist. They also had a really big informative booklet about um, basic income and, uh, oh, it seems like got two of those. And then they also provided an evaluation just for how we felt the evening went. And um, overall, I think it, it was pretty good. I would have preferred a little bit more opportunity for personal input um, in terms of like uh, personal experiences and how they contribute to how this might benefit society. But overall, there was a pretty good opportunity for that because at the end, they did um, actually hand the mic around and have people Able, allowed people the opportunity to ask questions or to offer opinions, experiences, etc. Um, but at the beginning they basically started it with a group activity. They had everyone at separate tables um, and we were to introduce ourselves, pick a writer and pick a speaker, and then um, discuss the topic that was on a big pamphlet of paper on the center of the table and uh, each table would focus on one topic and then if we wanted to we could move on to other topics after that and after a set amount of time everyone uh, stopped and they had one person, the speaker, from each table present the three basic ideas or answers to the big question uh, or the main question that each table was given and then after that was as I mentioned an open discussion where we could ask questions or offer experiences. Uh, they ultimately say that this is um, after tonight they have apparently two weeks to get together all of the, or maybe it was one week, a very short amount of time anyways, to get together all of the information that they're gathering from everyone and to uh, basically summarize it into a transcript to offer to the Ontario government as information for what they should do or how they should try to implement it um, so that it can all be designed for April. And uh, implemented shortly after that, though they haven't set a specific day on implementation. Um, there was a lot of repeated comments, a lot of people had the same things to say, which I mean is good, that means we have a consensus on certain things that should be addressed. And it was really cool that as the mic was being uh, handed around, people seemed to have answers to other people's questions um, with regard to how certain things could be handled. And I sat there for a good five minutes like shaking and just being like, oh, I don't know, maybe I should speak, maybe I shouldn't. I sort of, I went intending to speak, but I was nervous, I was scared, and I wasn't sure if it, if I really, it was appropriate to go, to speak about what I originally had intended, which was um, how my personal experience is very much related to my poverty, um, my abuse is related to my poverty, and a lot of it wouldn't have happened if I wasn't impoverished. Um, and that wasn't really entirely relevant, but I did, I did end up putting up my hand. I worked the courage up. Um, when I was done, I was literally shaking like this. Like you could hear me shaking as I was speaking. My voice was shaking. It was pretty, hmm. but the people at my table said I didn't do too bad. And the main points that I brought up are that there are already currently 
um, inner community centers that can be used as addresses for the homeless so that the homeless can be included within the basic income program, which is huge because they're the biggest faction of poverty that are not helped through our current systems. Um, I also address that Aiden and I agreed, um, by the way, my friend Aiden came with me, super awesome of him. I really appreciate the support and the help and he just has a lot of good things to add to the conversation. Um, and uh, we agreed that it should be done on an individual basis uh, or determined on an individual, a person's individual situation instead of uh, as couples or families per se, um, children aside of course, because uh, this allows a lot more freedom for situations of domestic abuse particularly like my situation where I was in the situation as long as I was in a lot of senses due to financial dependence. And a lot of people are in that situation when it comes to spouses and family members and a lot of different things. And uh, domestic abuse doesn't really seem to be a thing considered very often for basic income. So put in that point as well. And then it was brought up just before I spoke, uh, people being concerned about all the jobs that might be lost as they're trying to reduce the administration of costs basically of social assistance by introducing this basic income program. And uh, with that, um, Aiden and I had come up with a pretty decent counter, I feel, that it seems reasonable to handle that is to offer subsidized education or training for anyone who is within those sectors of jobs that are being taken away um, so that they can reapply their skills elsewhere. It is also very possible that they can just be relocated. Their skills can be reapplied elsewhere without any more training, and by all means, if that's possible, do that first. But if training and education is necessary in order to apply themselves in a different area of the community, allowing that, them that opportunity would reduce the burden of the fact that they've lost their job and allow them to continue contributing to society and earning an income without with it having purpose instead of just being an income for the sake of an income? Um, why not get rid of jobs that aren't contributing to society and help people redesignate their labor and their efforts towards things that will contribute to society? In terms of progress, it really only seems to make sense. So that's what I put forward. I was shaking the whole time. It was scary. Um, but uh, after that, they basically wrapped it up and summarized that um, they were... Uh, taking notes of everything that was being said at that time, uh, like ladies were transcripting in the corner, and um, they took all of the um, big question paper, and we had this thing called a, I think they called it a parking lot, uh, just like this blank page to put notes on that didn't really fit in other places, and they took all of that to also refer to, and in the end they basically said that they were going to release um, a transcript of everything that happened, and that would be then used to determine what they're going to do with the pilot. I actually spoke with um, one of the main people that was uh, organizing or running things at the front and he said that um, people had actually addressed a number of questions that hadn't been answered and the government didn't actually know the answer to and that's part of why they were doing this consultation was to try and, excuse me, get that kind of information from people. So ultimately I feel pretty positive about it, pretty okay. It um, it was educational. I mean, I, I knew a lot about basic income, but uh, it allowed me to hear some people's different ideas on it, it allowed me to hear um, some people's understandings of different government, um, what do you say, regulations or things that could be changed. Like, I'm not very familiar with the taxation system, and some people were, and they were suggesting um, uh, sources to get the income from. So I learned a lot. I also um, had been... Aiden had convinced me that negative income tax might be the better choice just be out of uh, cost and implementation because he said it didn't make sense uh, or it would be very costly to have people giving to be giving people um, of large incomes amounts that they would literally have to just give right back to the government because there would be administration within that that would just create money to have to be spent that wouldn't otherwise be necessary. But um, a couple of really cool guys... Um, Noah and Eric sat down at our table with us, and Eric had a very good point, a lot of rather good points about the fact that just the uh, broadness and universality of universal basic income instead of ne negative income tax would reduce the administrative costs immensely to the point that it would eat up whatever costs are created by giving um, the higher income people money that they would just have to give back at tax time, because we already have uh, set up 
tax system where that basically already happens. And if people, in the negative income tax situation, people have to report their income at some various different points in order for that to work because it's based off of your income. So you're, they're still reporting. Whereas with the universal basic income, there's there's no reporting. What's not, nothing beyond what's already done at tax time. So it just literally gets rid of a, an excessive amount of administration and doesn't really add any. Um, so, yay, Eric. Thanks so much for helping me get back on the universal page. And, and that's where I definitely sit right now. And I really hope that's how they intend to apply the pilot, but I don't know. <laughs> we will see um, what they plan as of April. In the meantime, I am ultimately feeling very positive about how the consultation went. Wasn't what I expected at all, but it was very educational and uh, an awesome learning experience. And a little bit of a speaking experience because I did uh, speak for a few minutes, although I was shaking like a little scared mouse the whole time, but I tried, which is what matters. And I got my good friend to come with me, which really helped in the whole getting out and doing something that causes me extreme anxiety thing. <laughs> so it was a positive for my mental health too, but overall, um, yeah, it it went well. Um, and I'm, I'm hoping to see in April that uh, they took everything into consideration and didn't just pigeonhole certain ideas because you never really know how they're going to take the information in the end. Um, but yeah, I guess we'll see as of April what Ontario intends to do with this. I put in my word best I could and um, one way or another I do think it's worth your time to educate yourself about the Basic Income Project if you're an Ontarian because it can be beneficial to everyone, regardless of your uh, your income situation. And uh, in that sense, beneficial to our entire society and our ability to progress and reduce poverty and suffering and let's grow and prosper. So why not, right? Uh, definitely educate yourself in the end. And uh, if you have any comments or thoughts on the basic income concept or um, any information that I haven't mentioned here that you think is relevant, by all means, please do feel free to share that in the comments below. And as always, do join me again next week where I try again to share a little something I've learned in life.